The Tampa Theater is one of the oldest movie palaces in the country, and it is showing its age. It's being closed for six weeks, and as WUSF Steve Newborn reports, parts of it will be returned to its former glory. Workers are busy pulling out every one of the seats in the Tampa Theater. Contrary to what many believe, they're not original. These red velvet seats were added in the 1970s. They'll be replaced with replicas from the original design. President and CEO John Bell says the theater was built as an architectural statement in 1926, but it means much more than that. It means a lot, not just because of the architecture and the history that's imbued here, but because of all the memories that people have that are wrapped up in this building. I mean, I hear almost every day a story about, I got my first kiss in the balcony, or um, uh, there was a wedding proposal here, or people remember the first time they ever walked in as a child to one of our field trip programs. Um, so it's, it's, it means a lot, not just in terms of nostalgia and memories, but also because it's centered right in the middle of downtown Tampa. And uh, the more investment we make in this building, uh, the more ripple effect it's going to have on improving the neighborhood overall. So when we come back in six months, you think it's going to be a whole different world in here and maybe... Build well, a little... I mean, we'll, we'll have, uh, you know, these great new seats, uh, all this res- restoration that's coming, uh, coming about within the theater. But within the next several years, it's going to be a, a completely transformed downtown. From the area with Jeff Vinnick south of us to uh, the projects that are being built. Two blocks here on North Franklin Street, it's almost finished. There's another residential high-rise with commercial on the bottom. Uh, this, is, this is Tampa's renaissance, uh, and it's something that I've never experienced in my lifetime. My mother, who's been here over 50 years, she hasn't seen this, so this is, this is our time. This is when downtown is truly coming back. People are coming back to the urban core. Uh, They want a live, work, play environment, and that's what we're trying to provide, and that's what we're moving towards. The $6 million renovation is only the first phase of a restoration that will include restoring the original look to the lobby. Steve Newborn, WUSF 89.7 News.